Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a pin that will hold the hands of your clock onto your clock face so you can tell the time easy without it being um, messy and difficult. So if you don't have a split pin, the aim is to get some paper clips and to create a pin a little bit like this. Now I'm going to demonstrate on a large paper clip, but a smaller paper clip is much, much easier to handle and to use but I'm going to demonstrate on a, on a large one. So what I want you to do is get your large paper clip. I want you to open it up. I'm just going to move this out of the way for a minute. Just want you to open up your paper clip as much as you can, nice and long. And I've kept this natural bend here. There's a natural bend, there's a couple of natural bends, but I'm going to take this bend and I'm going to keep that bend and make it nice and round. Now you might need an adult to help you here. If you've got the small paper clip, you probably won't. But uh, you might need an adult to help you bend the wire. So now I'm going to take a nice little hoop. I'm going to make wrap the wire around just so it's secure. So now I have a nice little hoop and the wire's attached there. It is looped around there. So now I'm going to bring back the clock. Um, just a little helpful hint, when I did cut out the clock handles, I did make sure there was a little bit of an extra edge on the ha um, hands, mainly because if you make it too tight and you cut out exactly on the line, you won't have enough space to punch a hole. On my hands I punched a hole, but in on the clock face I actually put a pencil in and I just made it bigger and bigger and bigger. So here, I'm going to thread this pin now through the hour hand to start then I'm going to thread it through the minute hand so now that's sitting like that now I'm going to thread it through the main part of the clock now this is a large paper clip so it isn't actually very handy when I have to split it on the other side a smaller paper clip will be much easier but here I'm just going to split it into two Trying to flatten it off as much as possible. I'm going to put my clock down on the ground. Just do a little bit more of a wiggle. And now I have my clock face with my hands attached. You know, it's just a basic one, but it'll help you this week as you're telling the time and you're having to move the handles in different ways and setting it up on the clock. So good luck with that. Paper clips, clock face cut out, good luck.